So today we're going to talk about confidence and uh, it might get a little windy. I'm going to talk loud so you can hear me. But this one's one of the most important ones yet. And here's what you got to realize. Every single person has what's called a confidence account. And everything they've accomplished is based off that confidence account. All their successes, all their greatest accomplishments, all their failures is because of their confidence. And here's the scary thing. You're either helping or hurting your confidence at all times. There is no in between. So every single thought, every action, every intention, everything you do is either helping or hurting your confidence. And there's nothing else to it. And they say those who don't have confidence will always find a way to lose. So even if they have something happen to them that's uh, success oriented, they think it's luck and they, then they sink back down to where their confidence really is. So I want to give you five C's to really having unshakable confidence. Number one, choices. Uh, the choices you're making are making you and you have to ask yourself in every choice in the moment, is this helping or hurting my confidence? Because most choices people make are based off their current emotions and pleasure versus long-term happiness and success. So make sure every choice you're making is something that you'll be proud of later on. And I'll tell you, the biggest thing I can tell you about choices is choose growth in the moment. And whatever's harder is usually the right choice. Number two, challenges. Just understanding that challenges are a good thing will help your perspective and give you confidence. Most people, when they go through a challenge, they let that uh, challenge define them and it lowers their confidence. Don't let that happen. So when you have a challenge, understand that's that has to happen in order for you to grow and to add to your repertoire of success and add to your mental toughness and your character. So when you go through a challenge, make sure you realize that's good for your future, not bad, and it should add to your confidence because you now have more experience and more knowledge because of that challenge. And a great quote um, that I've heard that really shows this at the highest level is, it's not what you do when you're on top that makes you a great leader. It's what you do when you're on the bottom that determines your real leadership ability. So it's even when you're going through a big challenge, you gotta keep that confidence. Number three, champions. Hang around champions. Who you associate with is who you become. And as I said earlier, if everything you do either helps or hurts your confidence, one of the biggest confidence boosters and self-esteem boosters in life, in business, in sales, in marketing, and entrepreneurship um, is who you hang out with. So make sure you're hanging out with champions that challenge you, that give you perspectives, that make you think, that uh, raise your standards to new levels of success. Number four is consistency. Now consistency is all about character. Can you do what you say you're gonna do? Ask yourself right now, are you as consistent as you could be in your health, <clears throat> in your business, um, with your emotions, with your attitude? Are you as consistent as you can be? A lot of people get all excited and enthusiastic about new goals and new achievements or new opportunities. They get all pumped up, they're emotionally excited, and they charge out the gate with action. But the reality is that eventually flares out. And if you can make a commitment to consistency, you will not only catch your competitors, you will leave them in the dust every single time. I just do what most people can't do that I have found, which is stay consistent. And lack of consistency is subtle, but it's the great stealer of all dreams and desires. The stop and start process is what kills most people's progress. And it's probably one of the greatest reasons people ultimately don't achieve their goals in business or life, uh, financial, whatever, is because they don't stay consistent and it causes disappointment and frustration. And what that causes is a lack of confidence. Because remember, everything boils down to the confidence you have in yourself and your ability to make things happen. And there's nothing more powerful to build to your confidence and multiply your income by two, by three, by five, by 10, uh, as there is of consistency and consistently getting better, whether you feel like it or not. Number five, lastly, is courage. To do the things that scare you to approach the businesses that you're scared to talk to, to make the phone calls you're scared to make, 
to call the people you're nervous to call, to reach out to the people that you know you should reach out to, it's probably one of the biggest reasons people don't ultimately achieve their goals, besides lack of consistency, is they don't have the courage and they lack the confidence. But once you make bold decisions and once you make the big decisions and you take courage really seriously, it gets easier next time to take that bold action as well. And I'll tell you, the tougher choices are always the choices that are gonna help your future the most and define who you are. And pretty soon, every single choice you're making is building to your confidence. And the people with the most confidence usually have the greatest success and the most fulfilling lifestyle as well. And lastly, I'll leave you with this quote and I really think it speaks volumes. The ultimate, ultimate sign of a great leader with great confidence is whatever you speak, your actions follow. So make sure whatever you're speaking, your actions follow because the person with the most confidence always wins. So hope you got some good stuff and uh, make sure you leave your comments and, and what you're thinking below and, and share this video with anyone that you feel it would add value to because the movement's all about adding value and helping other people live the best lives they can. So once again, hope you learned some great stuff and we'll talk to you soon.